Aquarius, welcome to Samurai Taro. Okay, this is your reader, Julius. We're going to do your November 2022 reading. Okay, we're, we have your chakra energies here, uh, your life, career, and then your love spread. Also, let me pull up some advice <laughs> from the Divine Father so we can make your Merkaba spread. Okay, so Divine Father. This is three cards for advice, and let's do my mother show us what is hidden. Show us what is hidden. Okay, there's some Gemini involved, and a Sagittarius, and also a Virgo. You came out. Okay, anyway. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Root chakra, you have passion. Okay. This is the Knight of Wands, so you're very, very uh, driven. Okay. Okay. And in your sacral chakra, you have a Virgo, so you might be connecting with a Virgo, or you, this is you uh, studying, okay, finding some uh, answers, okay, you might be studying the occult as well. Mm, I see that you're studying this person here. Could be a Leo. Iris Leo Sag. You're studying them. You're trying to shed a light on this person. You're trying to get the truth. Okay, in your solar plexus chakra. You're trying to get the truth and also. Uh, you're wanting to speak your truth. And you might be speaking your truth this November. In your heart chakra, you have the tower card. Okay, you might be dealing with a Virgo, a Scorpio, okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, tower card. So, this tower, um, definitely, this since this is in your heart chakra, this is some sort of breakup. Okay, there's a breakup here that happened. This may re be regarding someone you love dearly. Okay, uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Uh, this is your throat chakra energy. Um, you're ready to express your love for a certain person. And you want to profess your love and you want to be victorious. In your mind, uh, you have the energy of the uh, Six of Wands, which is victory. So you want to win. You want to win this person. Why? Because you see them as very motherly and caring and abundant. Okay? Alright, so I see you meeting up with this person. You're traveling towards this person. This could also be your mother. You might be going to your mother's house. Something happened in your mother's house or something like that. Or something uh, something happened in the house of a family member. Okay. So that's straightforward. So you want to speak your truth. And uh, you're having to collect your thoughts. All right, life spread. You have the nine of swords, so you're having sleepless nights. Uh, lots of thinking, overthinking, and you could be you could be thinking of traveling, and uh, you're overthinking some sort of. Uh, you're overthinking a person who's at a distance with you. You're in a place of regret, as I can sense here, because you want to restore balance in with you and uh, balance in the situation with you and this person. So there was no equal give and take in the past. Now you're you're ready to give to the situation. Okay. 
Let's see how it goes. You have the Ace of One, uh, sorry, Ace of Cups in your career spread. So I'm getting uh, your a new beginning, and this job is a job that you will be happy with. But but there's a big but. There's competition. So be ready for competition in the workplace. I'm seeing a lot of uh, petty people. So you'll be you'll be you'll be encountering people who are not in your in their divine in their divinity. So and you and I know how difficult it is to uh, deal with people who are not in divine energy. Okay, because this is you. Okay, you're the high priestess, or you could be you could be connecting with the Pisces at work. Uh, you know something. You know something that they don't. Okay. Also, uh, you're using your intuition in order to be able to surpass the the five of wands or the uh, petty squabbles or the competition in your workplace. Okay. So I'm seeing you just calm, collected, and focused on work because you know something that other people don't. You have a secret. And the secret is, well, you might, you might have someone like a, like a love interest at work. You're not telling other people. <laughs> You're not telling other people. <laughs> And uh, a lot of people are pining for this person, and you're one of them, but uh, you have a plan, <laughs> and you're not telling anybody else. Ooh, office. This might be an office romance, okay, for some of you. <laughs> it's alright, it happens, it happens. Romance in the workplace, it happens. Well, with the Tower here and the King of Cups here and the uh, Ace of Swords, somebody might be professing their love uh, towards a co-worker or a boss. Okay, anyway. Love. You're manifesting, magician. Okay. So you're calling... <laughs> you're casting spells to attract this mature person. Who's as slow as nails? Well, you stop communicating with this person. Okay, there's uh, the contact with this person has halted, which leaves you to be sad because you're still folk. You're still folk. Look at look. You're still looking at them like they were the same person before, but I see that they are different now. They're not. They're not the same person uh, that you knew before. But I'm seeing you reaching out and sending them a message. Okay. Now, the thing here is, at the bottom of the deck, what's hidden is the Two of Cups. And there's the Two of Cups behind this person. So if if you could see past, uh, see beyond the past events or forgive each other for what has happened before that caused you to stop communicating with this person um, but I see that you're slowly approaching this person. This is your soulmate. You might be able to uh, come together and forgive each other and reconcile with this person. This would also mean that you have a new job in mind. You're just quiet that you, you're going to be uh, like... Uh, uh, maybe you're transferring to a different uh, company and th this is the contract waiting for you. Okay. So your situation, your, whether it's love or career or your personal situation, it requires strength. Be gentle. Uh, you'll, get a, you'll get your wish 
you'll you'll get uh, whatever you're wishing for. The universe is, is going to grant it, although it might take some time and also commitment, but it will pay off. Okay, that's what I see, Aquarius. Now let's. You know why it's going to pay off? According to the Divine Father, the uni they have your back. The universe has your back. That's a uh, good luck. Okay. I got a notification. Anyway, sorry about that. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. So, like I said, you're manifesting and you're transmuting this energy. So, you might be highly intuitive. Oh, okay. So, with this pair, okay, with this pair, um, you're connecting with someone uh, in the occult or you're a practitioner of the occult. Okay. Why do I feel there's like, there's strong competition with regards to your person? That's what I'm feeling. Okay. When I lean on the fate of the universe, peace becomes real. So have faith that uh, your manifestation will come into fruition. What is hidden? Full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. All right. So again, like uh, you might be talking to this person, your person, and uh, discussing uh, past events and uh, hoping for a reconciliation and to be able to move past the uh, the disappointments. What do you need to release, waning moon? So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So Divine Mother is saying that uh, you and your person has to release something. You may be you may be having some codependent attachment to this person. So uh, take it how it resonates. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. You might be connecting with the Sagittarius. Okay, take a step back and see the situation for what it is, not what you think it is or what you want it to be. Okay, because that's the only way for Two adults to be able to uh, reconcile any kind of difference is by seeing it for what it is. All right. Next. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Okay, that's final advice from the Divine Father. Now, Divine Father is... Uh, guiding you through this uh, situation definitely there's a tower moment here okay uh, there's some unexpected event that might cause you to uh, have a change of heart normally when the heart chakra when the divine uh, kind of uh, intervenes with the heart chakra your heart is going to open up that's the the thing okay and it's going to open up uh, new opportunities in love and also finances because uh, you'll be very very attractive when your heart chakra is open so like I I encourage everybody to work on your chakras okay because because the only currency is energy that's the only energy. it's not money money is also energy so the only currency is money baseline quantum physics <laughs> all right so it's the quantum realms that's that's the key, okay. Not your not your diploma. <laughs> Forget about your diploma. It's worthless. <laughs> All right. Forget about your degree. Means nothing. Okay. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Aquarius, you're a uh, you're a trendsetter. You're a game changer. So um, live your authentic truth. So if you really love someone, tell them, and uh, uh, you'll be victorious if you're honest. Uh, if you're strategizing in, with regards to uh, work, uh, yes, it's a good idea to be quiet. <laughs> if you have an opportunity that you see that other people don't, just keep quiet. All right. Keep it to yourself. Uh, go in hermit mode. 
and high priestess mode. Wow, did some of you are really into the occult. <laughs> maybe some of you are tarot readers like me, or some of you are highly intuitive, or maybe you're a star seed or whatnot. You know, maybe you didn't. Maybe like me, <laughs> you're not from this planet. <laughs> <laughs> no, this planet is crazy. You know what I'm wearing? I'm I'm wearing a Moldavite. Before I wore this uh, meteor, um, my life's just like all over the place. Uh, I couldn't concentrate, but uh, the moment I was using, uh, working with this crystal, you know, it's. Uh, giving me uh, a little bit of uh, clarity and uh, easy to connect with the divine, okay? So the feeling of being homesick, you know, something like that, like longing for somewhere, some someplace else, you know, that's uh, something that uh, most star seeds or some of the, uh, the souls that are not originally from Earth can feel. So... I'm detecting here that some of you may be star seeds because there's a well I wouldn't be surprised you're Aquarius so you you're like the star card and stuff like that okay so anyway uh, what else uh, any, any other messages spirit okay Okay, so final word, try to move past regret and overthinking. Okay, leave the past in the past. That's all I can say from here. Uh, that's my advice from me to you. Okay, try to remove the overthinking and uh, release yourself from the past. Because the past is gone, you know. The only... Uh, the only thing that we have is really the present, you know, because a lot of people think that, you know, some of you, most of you are still in that linear uh, lean, uh, time, you're viewing time as very linear. It's not. A lot of people, a lot of people think that time is linear. It's not. Okay. Actually, if you want to be, uh, you want to be exact. Time does not exist. The time that we discuss here is just an agreement between us humans. Okay. All right. So now, all right. I'm drawn to this card. The universe has your back. So most of you are connected to the universe, and you are aware of your divinity. That's good. I like it. Okay. I love it. Okay, so being aware of you being a divine being, and you're awake, you're woke to to that reality, that realization, is a good thing. Uh, it's a sure sign that you'll be able to uh, help a lot of people. Okay, which is uh, that's the real uh, purpose of the Aquarians is to be a humanitarian. Okay, help the human race ascend. Okay. Some of you uh, might acquire some new skills and from new studies, okay? You might be doing some self-study and self-care as well, okay? So you're taking good care of yourself and you're sharpening the mind, okay? All right, so while you're sharpening the mind, the universe, okay, it's your heart chakra, the universe will step in to heal your heart chakra. They will open your heart. And then you'll be embodying the King of Cups. Okay. So if you're highly logical before, you might find yourself opening up to uh, your emotions and exploring your emotions. Okay. Balancing those emotions okay, through the heart chakra. Anyway, that's called healing the relationships. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll leave it at that. I, got, I think I got the message uh, out there. So... You know the drill, like, share, subscribe, and I hope to see you on your December Samurai Tower reading. Thank you for watching.
Aquarius. Thank you.